Hey, this is Model Space. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these cute little baby Yoda figurines. And we're going to do a product review on some of Culture Hustle's paints, including their Miriest Mirror paint, their Blackest Black paint, and their Heavy Metal set. And you're going to want to stick around till the end because we're going to do a Grogu giveaway. Directions on that at the end. Okay, let's get started. So, this whole project started when Lauren Rosser approached me to build one of his digital artworks as a physical model, which you can see right here. And he wanted it to resemble the original material in his render. And to do this, I suggested we 3D print the whole model and apply this Miriest Mirror paint. And I have to say, I had some ulterior motives here. I really wanted an excuse to use this paint. I heard a lot of great reviews about it, and I also wanted to pick up their heavy metal and blackest black paint to test on some other projects. So I had a project to use the Miriest Mirror paint on, but I needed another project to test out that heavy metal set and and the blackest black set. So I decided to print out these little baby Yoda figurines on my resin printer as well. And I'm gonna link this model down below if you'd like to print it out. So like I said, I used SLA resin printing with my Form 2 for both of these projects. And this type of 3D printing basically just cures liquid resin with UV light, which you can see right here. And it creates a really clean, detailed model. And I printed out my architectural model in white and my little baby Yodas in gray. So I basically just printed out five baby Yodas. And for both prints, you usually want to soak this in some rubbing alcohol, and this removes any excess resin that didn't cure during that printing process. And I usually like leaving in my project for about a day because I can remove that support structure, which you can see right here, really easily. Once this is soaked in the rubbing alcohol, you can just leave this out in the sun to fully cure. And after it's fully cured in that UV light, usually I don't have to do that much more finishing. I might do a little light sanding and then a few coats of automotive paint. And for this particular project, I did a final coat in a satin paint. And at that point, I was ready to apply my Culture Hustle paint, and I started with this mirror paint. And here's a quick look at the final product, and I'll give my final review at the end. Next, let's move on to our blackest black paint project and our heavy metal paint project. And the heavy metal set comes with four paints, a gold, silver, copper, and black gold. Okay, let's start painting these bad boys. So I'm gonna start with copper. And as I started applying this paint, I noticed that it had kind of a hard time adhering to the surface. It kind of clumped up and blotched in certain places. So I knew I was gonna have to do several coats to get a full metal looking object. But overall, at the end of one coat, it has pretty good coverage. And I found that it took three total coats of that copper to get a consistent look. And here's the final shots of it. Next, I tried out gold. And here I found that this gold paint probably had the worst coverage out of all of the metallic paints that I've used thus far. And here you can see what this baby Yoda looks just after one coat. And this is what it looks like after five coats, which was the number it took to get a consistent color on this model. Next, I tried the black gold, which turned out to be one of my favorite paints and it had really great coverage. One of the reasons it might have had a great coverage in this case is because we're painting on a gray background, so the difference between the black gold and the actual gray color wasn't that much. So I really only had to do two coats of this paint to get it to this final stage with full coverage. 
Next, I tried silver, overall, good paint. And here's what it looks like with two total coats, which is all I need to get full coverage. And finally, here's the blackest black. And for this project, I'm going to paint the body black and the eyes that mirror paint, mainly because I wanna show kind of a contrast between this dark, dark black color and these eyes. So hopefully you'll see just these eyes peeking out of a black void, or at least that was the intent. And here's what this black Yoda looks like with the final coat. And he really looks like an anti-hero here with this color coordination. Okay, that's the full process. Let's take a look at some final images of both of these projects. Okay, those are the projects. And here are my final thoughts on these paints. So, the mirriest mirror. In general, I was pretty happy with the overall consistency of the paint. Once you apply it to a relatively smooth surface, it really does look like mirror. My only main complaints for this paint is that if you're working on a pretty continuous surface, you still can kind of see the brush strokes, which I'm a little disappointed with, but it doesn't look terrible. The original creator of this paint suggested that you brush it on and you don't spray it on, but I don't know. I might spray it on next time to see if I can get a more consistent coat that doesn't show those brush marks. Okay, so for the blackest black, to be honest, I was a little tiny bit disappointed with this paint. Now, the reason is that I think my expectations were way too high for this paint. So for starters, it was a little hard to control, which makes sense, it's super pigmented. It felt like I was kind of pushing around mud, and that's probably how they get the paint to look so dark. It just has a ton of probably solid media in it to get it to that matte dark color. And in general, I thought when I applied this paint that it would make objects look kind of like a void, but it kind of doesn't do that. You can still see a lot of detail in this model. And just for contrast, I painted the eyes silver and it's kind of hard to pick up on camera. The camera actually does a lot of work in making this look like a void paint. But in general, I mean, I'm happy with it. I think my expectations were just a little too high for this. But yeah, I mean, I'd use it again, but I wouldn't expect it to make my objects look like black hole voids or anything. And finally, the heavy metal paint. So I was super, super happy with these paints. It's really hard to find metallic paints that don't deteriorate over time. So I've had these little figures for a while now and it seems to have held up really well. Not only that, these are water-based metallic paints. So they're really easy to use and really easy to clean off of your brushes. So usually when I'm dealing with other metallic paints, like God forbid Montana spray paints, which I hate, with those types of paints, usually what happens is to get a metallic look, they're mixing in metallic media. And if you don't mix it with your paint medium well enough, the metallic stuff can actually flake off. And especially if you have oily hands, that oil is going to want to pick off that metallic. But I haven't really noticed that with this heavy metal set. It does a really great job with kind of keeping that metallic look. And checking out each one of these pieces, the paint looks pretty convincing. Like this really does look like a silver Krogu figurine. So I'm overall really happy with this paint. And I think my favorite color is probably this black gold right here. I'm really happy with the consistency and it makes it look like this really luxe kind of statue. So I'm definitely going to use these paints again and I'm overall really happy with it. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the Grogu giveaway. So I'm going to give away each one of these five Grogu figurines to one person. All you have to do to enter is you have to be a subscriber 
to my channel and you have to like this video and give me a comment and let me know what your favorite Baby Yoda color is. And the giveaway time period is gonna be two weeks from the posting of this video. And at the end of that time period, I'm just gonna randomly pick someone to give these cute little Baby Yodas away to. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for sticking around and have a great day.